Mr. Krause? Thank you. Uh, I'd like to just make one promise to you tonight. I'm just going to serve three terms. Come. At the end of the time, I'm going home. It's a promise I can keep. But if I don't keep it, my wife's going to kill me. <laughs> my first term, what I'd like to do is stop the bleed. Rain in this stimulus money. Hopefully we can correct the mistakes that were done in the health care bill that finally comes out. The second and third term, hopefully we'll be a Republican president and a Republican Congress. That's when we can get things done. I'll have enough experience, first term, to really make a difference. I'm not going to promise you I can do anything uh, much in the first term. I don't think anybody can do too much in the first term with our current president. Now, I think we, in the second and third terms, we need to change this tax structure, eliminate the capital gains, provide investment tax credits, pass the fair tax. That will really increase, uh, promote our economy. For the long term, it will create private jobs. We need private jobs, not more government jobs. Now, I'd like to talk about electability. It's very important. We have four fine people here tonight that are taking the time to drive long distances here. Folks, I have operated a business in Buncombe County for 35 years, the most populous county in the district. Now, I'm not knocking Jackson County. I love to come here. I love to come to Madison, Haywood, but I know a lot of people in Buncombe County. And I can win Buncombe County. I don't care how much money he sure has. And I'll win the rest of the districts. I think I can relate to the people. I'm just a small town lawyer. Abraham Lincoln was my hero. It's in my statement. He was a small town lawyer, accessible to the people. And that's what I'm going to be, accessible to the people. I've been in over 11 counties. I've probably talked over 25 times to people. We're going to be accessible. I'm not going to change. Second thing is, I've been on the Madison County School Board for two terms. I'm the only person here that has any elective government experience. That's important going against he sure. He's a tough cookie. He's got a lot of money. He does not intimidate me at all. I go up against big law firms. I've gone up some big people in the state on the school board. I've said no to them. I've got a track record. I will fight for you. I'm sure many of you have accepted challenges in your life. I've, I've had many cha challenges. I've had six children. I've spent all my money on my children. It'll be a challenge to beat these children, but we can do it. It will be more of a challenge to go to Washington, D.C. to change the direction of our country. But we can do it. And folks, I'm ready for the challenge. Thank you, Mr. Krauss. Dr. Agarbaugh, three minutes. <clears throat> Again, I want to thank you for the opportunity to uh, speak with you this evening. I think one of the things that it is important and incumbent upon me to do as your representative is to actually represent you. That is something that our current crop of congressmen have obviously forgotten is what they're supposed to do. They go up there to represent the people that send them there. The ones that are there now, we should best call them non-representing representatives because they don't hear us. When Heath Schuler voted for the cap and trade bill, the phone calls to his office were nine or ten to one against, and yet he voted. He voted for cap and trade. We know that he would have voted if he had been required to for the health care bill in the House, but fortunately there were enough other uh, uh, Democrats voting for it so that Nancy Pelosi didn't need his vote. So one of the things that's important for me is to tell you that I will represent you. The most important reason that we can get rid of Heath Schuler is because his presence in Congress enables Nancy Pelosi, Harry Reid, and Barack Obama 
to push a liberal progressive agenda down our throats when we don't want it. So that's a very important reason to get rid of him. And another important reason that we should elect not only conservatives, but conservatives of principle, not just in the 11th district of North Carolina, but all around this country. Because if we can get a block of principled conservative people in the House of Representatives, we could stop what's going on and change the direction of our country back to the way it should be. Yogi Berra, uh, one of baseball's greatest philosophers, says when you come to a fork in the road, take it. Well, we are at that fork in the road right now. Probably, I would say, one of the most critical times that we have had in this country since maybe even before the Civil War. If we continue down our present course, we will see a constant, repeated, and aggressive erosion of the very liberties, rights, that we were guaranteed by our Constitution. We cannot afford to let that happen. We must elect a principal conservative representative from our district. Obviously, I'm here in front of you because I believe that I am the one who has the best chance of beating Heath Schuler. And I think that I do. And therefore, what I'm asking you for is I'm asking for your trust, I'm asking for your support, and I'm asking you to trust in freedom. Thank you very much. Thank you, gentlemen. Once again, for all the students here who do not have free constitutions, please come and take free constitutions. One more round of applause for our candidates. And personally, I want to thank everyone who showed up tonight. Um, like I said in the opening, we plan on doing many more activities, but we can't do that without money. So if you'd like to donate to Western Carolina University Young Americans for Liberty, please do so on your way out. Everyone drive safe. And have a